In today's video, we're going to give you an overview of the trading platform CTrader, how it works, how to execute trades, and a lot more. Let's get started. When you log into CTrader, you will see four main windows. On the left, you've got your watch list under the main menu. You will find all the instruments available for trading, categorized into groups here. In the middle, you'll see your main chart window, where all the price action happens. On the bottom, there's the trade watch. This displays your active positions, orders, history, and account status. And on the right, there's the active symbol panel, perfect for fast entries with just a click. If you don't see any of these windows, you can enable them from the toolbar at the top. Just go to the layout icon and then click on the respective window option to show or hide it. On the top right corner, you will see your trading account number you are logged into. If you click on it, you'll see a list of all your Ctrade accounts associated with the same email address. Simply click on the account you want to log into and that's it, you're ready to trade on that account. Moving from left to right, the Trade tab under the main menu, you can choose to hide or display it as per your liking. The Trade tab is further divided into Watch Lists and All Symbols. Here you will see all the instruments available for trading, categorized into groups like Popular Markets, Metals, Oil, Forex, Indices, and Cryptocurrencies. You can use the search bar right here to look up any specific instrument. Just right-click on the instrument to place a new order, open the chart for that instrument, or add it to your watch list. Let's try placing a trade. You will see the order window is further divided into four tabs. The Market Order tab for placing market execution trades, the Limit Order tab for placing Buy Limit or Sell Limit orders, the Stop Order tab for placing Buy Stop or Sell Stop orders, and finally, the Advanced Stop Limit orders. Let's quickly place a market order. You can choose the instrument here. Next, choose a Sell or Buy trade, select your lot size, and set your stop loss and take profit if needed. You can set these limits in pips, by price, by percentage of balance, or even based on desired profit or loss. You can set a trailing stop loss as well, just check this box. Once everything is set, click Place Order, and that's it, the trade has been placed. You will see the order line right here on the chart. You can easily access it for quick modifications. Just drag the line to your desired price to set your stop loss or take profit. You can also modify the existing stop loss or take profit the same way. The order line is quite handy. You can share the trade from here, set advanced stop loss or take profit, reverse the position, double the position, or even close the position. In the middle lies the chart window where all the price action happens. Right in the center of it, you will see options for quick trades. Just adjust the lot size and click on buy or sell and the trade has been placed. Exploring it further, you can also place quick sell or buy pending orders. Just drag and drop the lines, and depending on the price you drop it on, a limit or stop order will be placed. Right-click on the chart and you'll see a list of features available. The first one in the drop-down is for placing new orders. Next, depending on the price you right-clicked on, you will see a list of pending order types available. You can also directly set alerts at the bid or ask price. Moving on to simple, from here you can open the chart for any other instrument. You can also take a screenshot of the chart, create a duplicate of current chart, and choose your desired chart type. From period, you can set the time frame as per your choice. Next, you can zoom in or zoom out, display or hide the grid, add indicators, change the color of your bid or ask line or the entire chart background, and lastly manage all the objects like drawings and indicators. Exploring the chart's toolbar, from here you can choose between a cursor or different crosshairs. Add trend lines or vertical lines, add different shapes like rectangles or other objects, and change their colors. From the bell icon here, you can set price alerts. Exploring the topmost toolbar, you can click on New Order for placing trades. Next to it, you can save your current workspace or load previously saved workspaces. Just click on Multi-Chart Mode to view multiple charts at once, or click on Single Chart Mode to have all the space for one chart you can easily switch between charts. Moving to the bottom, the Trade Watch. The Trade Watch displays the account balance, equity, margin, free margin, margin level, stop out level, and unrealized profit and loss. The Trade Watch is further divided into multiple tabs. The Positions tab displays your currently open trades. Just right-click on any trade to close it, modify it, open the chart for it, or open a new position or simply click on the cross icon next to each trade to close it. You can also close multiple trades at once using the drop-down here. 
add filters to it if needed, and click on Close. And that's it, all trades have been closed with just one click. The Orders tab shows all your open pending trades. You can simply right-click on them to cancel or modify them. The History tab gives you a record of all closed trades. You can filter it by time period and just click on the Statement here to download your account report if needed. The Price Alerts tab lets you manage or set custom alerts based on price. The Transactions tab shows a detailed log of all monetary activities like deposits or withdrawals. Moving to the right, there is the Active Symbol panel. The new order tab is a quick trade interface for placing orders instantly. Choose the instrument from here, select the order type, choose between sell or buy, select the lot size, set your stop loss or take profit if needed, and click on place order and the trade has been placed without having to switch to the order window. The depth of market displays real-time buy-sell orders at different price levels. This symbol info provides all key specifications for the selected instrument like minimum maximum volume, commission details, swap points, and much more. And that's it, that was all about CTrader. We've also added in-depth tutorials on specific features like placing pending orders, customizing charts, or setting alerts, so be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.